There exists in Islam a hidden current, the mysterious world of the Sufis and Dervishes, who are searching for a direct way to the truth. One of the most important sources of inspiration for this mystic teaching is the 700-year-old work by Jalaleddin Rumi. which is revered by many Muslims, Shiite, as well as Sunni. Our journey brings us into the far-reaching corners of present-day Afghanistan, near Bagh, where Rumi was born. Salam. I said Salam, will you not answer? Salam. Salam. We are from Iran. Did you think we were Americans? We interview everyday Afghanis, as well as the president of the country, Hamid Karzai. Great philosopher and poet of Afghanistan. Our next stations are cities in Iran, where Rumi's ideas continue to touch people to this very day, including the former president, Khatami, who gives us, in a rare interview, his singular disclosure about Rumi's role in politics, most pointedly in the difficult relationship with the United States. Rumi is buried in the Turkish city of Konya, and thousands of pilgrims make the trip here every year. We speak with pilgrims and seekers from all around the world and search out Sufi masters and observe their secret rituals. Similar rituals are, in the meantime, even practiced in the heart of New York City. Rumi's ideas have begun to conquer the so-called West. We accompany the Bosnian Muslim Vahid on his pilgrimage to Anatolian Konya and to Rumi's mausoleum. In Konya, he meets Iranian artist and Rumi follower Nariman, Together they delve into the mystic world of Rumi and his friend and master, Shams. The exceptional love between these two wise men brought forth Rumi's world-famous poetry. The depth of this bond continues today to prompt discussion about the nature of the relationship between Rumi and Shams. At that time, jealousy and envy finally led Rumi's followers to commit Shams' murder. Rumi stayed in continuous mourning until he realized that love is more important than the beloved because love overcomes the boundaries to that which is holy.